Okay, continuing with our series on video editing in Blender using Blender 2.78a. And uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, doing layer effects. And in the end we're going to create like a, an old grainy film type uh, look, which I've done tutorials on in other programs. It's just a look that I like. Uh, it's fun to do. So let's go in here and I'm going to go to video editor and I'm going to say add uh, movie. I'm going to choose my one of my movies here and say add the clip and this is the clip right here so let's start off with some still images so I'm gonna go go ahead and say add an image and then we're gonna add a vignette this is a PNG that has a transparent layer on it so it's the black is is drawn on and then the uh, center part is a transparency I'm gonna add that in and you can see what it looks like right here I'm gonna grab the end here and make it the same length as my clip uh, but you see, you don't see, even though it's transparent, you're not seeing the video below it. Well, with it selected, we go over to the Edit Strip uh, tab here. And the Blend Mode, which is Cross, which is we, what we used for our cross effects when we used the opacity in the first or second video that I did. Uh, we can come up here and you have a few options. Uh, uh, overdrop, Multiply, Gamma Cross, Alpha Under, Alpha Over, Subtract, Add, and Cross and Replace. Well. Um, you're probably familiar with a lot of these if you've done any type of video editing or, or image editing in like GIMP or any other video or, or still image editing program. Uh, but what we want here uh, is alpha over. And so that what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to use that transparency uh, from that image. Uh, and it's great that we have all these options. The one thing that, that there's other uh, blend effects or blend modes it's called here, or I usually call them layer effects that you could use. Uh, but one of the most common is screen. And I'm very disappointed Blender doesn't have that here. I'm sure there's another way to do it. I think it might be able to do it in the compositor, but I'm really surprised there's not a, a screen option here. That's just an effect that's been around since the beginning of the film industry. But anyway, I'm just going off on a little, why is there not a screen uh, option here? But uh, alpha over, if you're working with a transparency, let's go ahead and add in a, another still image. And I'm gonna choose this image, which is just some grain. I'm going to grab that, make it the same length as my video here. And for this, I think I'm going to use multiply. Multiply multiply, and screen are probably the two that I probably use quite often. So now you can see we have you know our video with a uh, nice vignette and some grain. It looks okay. The grain is a still image, so it's not really moving. Neither is the vignette. So let's look at another way of doing this. I'm just going to box select my two still images here. Or at least try to box select it. There we go. And I'm going to import a uh, video clip. Uh, that I got off YouTube. Open, go into effects. I'm going to do my thumbnail view here. I have different types of um, of uh, film effects here, overlays. So I'm just going to choose one of them. I'll start off with this one. Go ahead, drop that in there. And uh, it's longer than my video clip, so I can trim it down if I want. I can see that this video clip, again, is 119 frames. So if I select this one, I can come over here to length and say 119, and it'll trim it down. Or I could drag it with the mouse. Uh, and again, you can see that uh, our, our image is here for our video, and that is a, a video of film grain. And we're going to change the blend mode for that to multiply. So now we have that film grain over top of it. Uh, it's, it's not a, the vignette is very uh, apparent. The scratches and grain in this particular clip, they're definitely there. Uh, they're just not over, overly uh, strong. And again, it's just different different videos you're going to overlay on there. We'll have different effects. Um, so there's that. So now I can grab my uh, original video here. I can scroll down to saturation. I can set that to zero if I want to make her uh, black and white there. So now I have a nice little black and white video. It's probably other things I would add. I would I would you know usually I add like a grain effect and and uh, I also uh, might add a slight blur every once in a while or uh, what else do I do? Um, might make it f the, the original video flicker, but with just a layer effect and dropping down your saturation, you have a halfway decent uh, video effect. Oh, another thing I'd probably do would it be affect the strobe, whoops, uh, right here. Like I said, set that to two or three. And then, uh, and also I tend to like to speed up the videos a little bit uh, when I'm doing these old film videos. But that's, uh, that's it right there. 
Uh, I do thank you for watching. Uh, so now you can you can layer videos as long as you don't need to layer with a screen effect. <laughs> uh, you can layer different images or videos over each other, so vignettes and other types of effects. So I, I, you know, what, real quick, let's let's undo the last few effects. There we go. We'll delete this layer, and I'll just just for another example. This video is short, so I'll add another movie clip. Look at this. We can add one with uh, some color here. Let's see how that looks with some of our options. I actually haven't tested this video out in, with these options, but let's just see what multiply looks like. So there you go, you got yourself a, a color filter there with multiply. You can try like add and subtract, but I think there's gonna be really strong, yeah. Uh, and add's gonna just make that white. So there you have like lens flare, if you, you know, like uh, what's his name that does the Star Trek movies, likes lots of lens flares. That's kind of, kind of what you got going there. Um, but yeah, so play around, get different layers you can lay around there to do different coloring and layering effects. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And there you can go to my support section. If you like my videos, you can support me through Patreon or PayPal. Be sure to check that out. You can search through all my videos from this channel and my other channels uh, at my website very easily. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I really do appreciate it, and I hope that you have a great day.